All right, so check this out. So if you're using Megascan, uh, Quixel Bridge to bring in assets, um, there's actually a plugin for Houdini. So if you, um, you know, here's the the link. It's just on. I just searched uh, for Megascan Houdini plugin, and uh, when the first time you do it on your export settings, this takes you kind of through it. It creates a plugin and installs it in your in your uh, in your Houdini directory and this kind of takes you through it and then you'll see and I never even noticed this you'll see that there's this mega scans um, this mega scans drop down here and so then you just hit plugins and then it gives you some options here right so you can tell it what type of material that you want it to be uh, you can tell it the renderer you want it to use okay uh, I haven't played with any of these things you know you can enable LODs uh, apply the motion like this is all some pretty cool stuff that I've I've never used um, uh, yeah, so this is all new here, um, right, so here, look, you have a Karma option, uh, very cool stuff, very cool. So once that's all set up, uh, we can hit close that up, and then let's see what this does. So I've, I've, I'm actually, you're doing this with me right now, I've never done this. So let's go ahead and find a 3D object, um, so let's go in here and then let's just bring in something, right, so we're going to and get rid of collections. Let's come in and let's say uh, for categories, we're going to do 3D plants because they're going to have some motion on them. And let's bring in, uh, let's look at, uh, let's look at house plants. Those are cool. Wait, oh, well, what's this guy here? Thatching grass or lily turf. Let's pull in lily turf. That's a nice looking one. So we're going to go ahead and uh, under our download settings, uh, I've set it to 2K. You can do 4K if you want. Uh, mesh format is Alembic, and then let's load in the different LODs, that way it comes in looking for that. Uh, this is all kind of the default, right? So I'm going to go ahead and download. So I hit download. This will take just a second. I got pretty fast internet. So pulls down. There we go. Uh, 2K is pretty fast as well. Go to my export settings. Right, so you have some exports here. Uh, right now it's set to custom disk export, but now we're going to change this to Houdini. Uh, I've used this where I use the Unreal Engine. It's really slick. It just jumps right into that Unreal session. So now let's see, because normally this was giving me an error. I'm going to hit export, export to Houdini, export, successful. And there it is. Subnetwork Lily Turf. We come in here. It's got its materials already all set up, ready to go. All the shaders are all attached. We've got all of our different LEDs. Um, they're all kind of stacked on top of each other. But. Uh, Looks like this doesn't use any motion. Usually you can tell um, if we come into here and look you know, at this individual asset. Um, that vertex color usually means there's some type of uh, possible animation on this. Let's see, did I turn that on in the plugins? Um, I didn't apply motion. So let's go ahead and change that back to apply motion. And we're going to close this. And let's delete this. And come back out to our bridge and let's export again. There it goes, successfully done. And there we go, we're inside the li lily turf. And I don't see, there they are. Let's see if they move, and look at that. They move, right? So that's just using some vertex offsets, uh, kind of like a wind pattern, but boom. How amazing is that? So this is the process for getting um, assets into Houdini from Megascan to then build up a library inside of Houdini to um, use for environment layouts and we can use these um, inside of our, uh, our you know our vegetation systems uh, using the terrain system and have those all instance on properly so uh, I'll do some uh, a further tutorial on how to use this inside of uh, the look dev or inside of the um, terrain system so.